welcome to this series on serial part port uh, hacking, if you want to call it that. Uh, today we're going to be looking at this MXQ Pro 4K. Uh, this is a friend of mine's, and uh, he had a problem with just stop booting uh, and nothing comes up on the screen. I uh, tried using the reset button on it uh, that's inside the audio jack um, but nothing, tried, you know, trying to go into recovery. So I decided to open it up and see if I can get at any serial ports. So uh, when you turn it over there's four little pads on the bottom, remove those and there's little Phillips head screws in there, remove those and the board comes right out. So this is what the board looks like. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, Inside, or actually behind, the uh, AV jack is just a little momentary uh, push switch. So if you stuck a paper clip or really a toothpick, probably be better since it's not metal, in there and press that button, in normal cases you can get into a recovery mode. Well that wasn't working. You usually hold it down for 30 seconds when you plug it in. Uh, but we weren't getting anything up on the screen. Luckily, I was able to open this up, and over here on the far end of the uh, of the board, right here, which this is the uh, front of the board, because you can see the uh, multicolor LED here that you would see on the front of the device when you turn it on, and then this is a infrared uh, receiver here for the remote it comes with, and then you'll see over here a 3.3 volt uh, transmit, receive, and ground uh, little. They aren't pins, because there are no pins there. Uh, but what I ended up doing was I tried putting header pins in here, but my header pins were too thick for these holes. So I ended up just soldering wire straight to it. I did the uh, transmit and receive, and they're clearly marked. I didn't even have to look up online where the serial port connections were on this device. They were clearly marked right there. Uh, and the ground one, though, uh, had what looked like solder over it, but I couldn't get it to melt, so I just soldered the ground wire to the other end of the board. That's why one wire is on the bottom there. Real quick, I'm just trying to get a better shot here for you. You can see the 3.3 receive, transmit, and ground. So just hook that up to your uh, serial port connector on your computer the, um, through your USB adapter. And remember, transmit goes to receive and receive goes to transmit. If you get them backwards, it's not going to hurt anything. Just flip it around and you should get it properly going. So the question at this point, are we going to actually be able to do anything through the serial port? Let's give it a look. So there are a lot of programs you can use to connect over uh, serial communications. I'm using screens, it's something I usually have installed on my computer already. Uh, and in this case I only have one USB serial device. So the device I'm going to is dev.ttyusb0 is case sensitive. And this is on a Linux machine here. And, um, and then the baud rate is uh, 115200. That's important to get proper. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we connect. The screen command is started and I'm plugging in the power to the device. And there we go, we start getting information up on the screen. And what we're really looking at here is basically, if you can see this, uh, we have a loop going. See it looped once, now it's looping again. And it says uh, EEMC, and then it says colon 80, then we have our uh, NAND85 uh, SD800, USB 8, and then it says that it's looping. And you'll see that this repeats over and over again. And those are basically, it's checking all of our different um, storage devices, basically. Unfortunately, what I feared on this device, since nothing in recovery and nothing was working, is that it seems like our bootloader, most, most likely U-boot, is gone from this device. It should be, I believe, on the EMMC, which stands for Embedded Multimedia Controller. That's the memory. It's a flash memory. A very, very cheap flash memory that you would see on devices like this common, commonly. And you see it says 800. Let me go ahead and zoom in here for a second. Get a little bit better view of this. And as I said, you'll see that it says for SD card right there. It says 800, 800. And I have no SD card put in the device now, but I am going to slide one in. <clears throat> and as we loop around here, it's doing another loop here. You'll see right here SD card now says zero. So it went from 800 to zero once I put a card in there. The EM, e, e, EMMC is at 800 all the time, which is what the SD card was. So I'm assuming that that means it's unable to read from the 
uh, EMMC. I don't know if that means that there's a partition, no partitions found, or if it's just unable to find the device at all. But that's normally what the device would boot off of. Uh, apparently these devices do have the capability to boot off USB or SD card, which is common with devices through U-Boot, but since U-Boot is already missing, uh, I can't find any instructions on how to get it to, unless I can't find any instructions, I haven't looked very much, but I can't get it to boot off US, uh, SD card at this point. Uh, I'm going to play with it more and hopefully get back to that. So commonly what I connect to over serial port uh, connection to do is uh, either I've messed up the operating system and I need to reflash it, in that case I'm using U-Boot, uh, the bootloader, um, or I'm just trying to get into the system and get a root shell started on it. So fixing something like this where there's no uh, bootloader uh, is something that's out of my range of knowledge at this point. Hopefully I'll be able to get this work and I'll learn a little bit. Um, but I didn't want to leave you with a video that doesn't lead anywhere, so I thought that I would show you a little bit more on a similar device. So this is the V88. This is my little device for uh, streaming from YouTube and, and from my desktop computer. And it works great. It looks very similar to the MXQ. Uh, opens up the same way, but when you open it up, the board is obviously different. And unfortunately, I can't find any serial port on here. So again, the reason I opened up this device was just for this tutorial today. I really had no reason to open it up because it's working fine and I already had root access on the device and access to the recovery mode. Uh, again, just like the other device, there's a little button back here behind the uh, uh, AV uh, plug. So um, I took it apart just to show you something, but again, I can't find any serial port uh, that's clearly labeled on there, nothing that looks like serial port connections and a quick Google search brought up nothing because there's so many different devices similar to this all the boards look different so I'm sorry to leave you hanging but at least on the MXQ uh, Pro uh, I did show you where the serial port connection is and as long as your your bootloader isn't wiped out you should have access to that in which case there should be options to boot from USB uh, or SD card or fix your system but once the bootloader has gone uh, again that's a little out of my realm of knowledge uh, I do hope you did find this interesting, although inconclusive. I do apologize about that. I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris of the K. There should be a link in the description of the video. Uh, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.